death coil cleaner. That's some nasty, sticky, greasy stuff on the side there. It's melting right off. Look at that. Cycling it to use to house my new inverter. I peel a bunch of stickers off. I'm sure the yellow death will take that glue right off too. Just hopefully it doesn't take the paint off. Yeah. Get it done. Oh yeah. That was nasty, greasy stuff. It just it just wipes right off. Heck yeah. Let's try clean it in here too. Clean. Got almost all of that off with just one rinse. That'll work. Grease is all gone. All shiny, shiny. Thanks once again to Yellow Death Coil Cleaner. Okay, getting underway on the project. Just ripped the power, main power out, and uh, pump number one wiring out of this control box. And, uh, Put the main power coming up into this new disconnect and uh, just put the fuses in there. And just for now, I got the power just going in here. And, uh, the middle. and then uh, pump one's just wired to that. I'm just going to do that just to get it up and running. I assume the phase is right. Is it just drifts up to about 110 psi building pressure because those regulators are all worn out. The VFD will take care of that. Over 90 now. And a high pressure of getting about 110 is causing this Camaro boiler to uh, open up the blow off valve. Pressure relief, if that's what you want to call it. And uh, replace that several times on both of them. The one and the other are mechanical one, too. So nothing wrong with the units, it's the pressure. It gets up to about 110 or so, it just makes so it's overly sensitive to lift. So it's over, over 90 right now. But it gets up over 100 sometimes. Regulators. That's how that'll be. This here, this this will be coming off. There, this none of this will be right there. We want be able to see the pumps and work on them a lot better <laughs> once that monstrosity is out of the way. So. <sighs> Phase one is done. Next thing I'll do, be doing is start to recycle some of these parts in here. We're using these. I'm sorry, just the contactor part because these are continuous rated. Uh, and I'm going to make a switch over from pump one or pump two. I'm only going to wire two pumps. We only need one at a time. And then I'll keep the third one just for backup. And if we ever have to use that, we'll just have to connect the wires later. And you know, put that, I need to put some new transducers in there. Put a couple switches to the front. Of course, wire in the inverter. So hopefully we'll be done with most of this throughout this week. But it's going to be a lot of work ahead of me. I got to 
disable all those 